okay so hello friends today our topic is the warfare in so in this lecture we will discuss about the class the indications or uses warfare in antidote warfare in diet mechanism of action warfare in interactions contraindications side effects and then two difference that is warfare in versus heparin and warfare in versus vitamin k so first we will start with the class okay so class of this drug is the anti coagulant okay next indications indications or uses number 1 to treat blood clots such as in dvt deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolus okay another preventing harmful blood clots okay so preventing harmful blood clots helps to reduce the risk of a stroke or heart attack then so these are the indications or uses next we'll discuss about the warfarin antidote okay so this is the vitamin k next warfarin diet so the patient is advised to take less vitamin k rich foods and avoid green tea cranberry juice grapefruit juice and alcohol okay next uh, we'll discuss about the mechanism of action or the mode of action okay mechanism of action so normally what happens so this is let's take inactive inactive form of okay, so write down from bottom of the page so inactive vitamin k okay, and the name is hydro quinone form okay and here write down this is the active form that of vitamin k and the name of this form is epoxide form okay now from inactive form to active form it is transferred by a enzyme by an enzyme that is write down the name of this enzyme gamma glutamyl carboxylase okay. and from active to inactive form it is transferred by the enzyme that is the vitamin k epoxide vitamin k epoxide reductase so this two enzyme and as a result of transfer from inactive to active so there is a transformation occurs in the body that is inactive clotting factors active 
clotting factors two, seven, nine, and ten gets activated. So active clotting factors two, seven, nine, and ten. Now warfarin so let us write down here so this is the warfarin comes and block this enzyme so vitamin k epoxy reductase gets blocked so as a result no active vitamin active form of vitamin that is epoxy form gets transferred cannot able to get transferred to the hydroquinone form that is the inactive so no inactive then no inactive form sorry then inactive vitamin k also cannot able to be active form and this reaction cannot occur further so ultimately no active clotting factors gets formed okay so i hope you have understood so this is the mode of action or mechanism of action next uh, we'll discuss about the warfarin warfarin interactions interactions so there are some drugs first uh, it can may interact with imatinib and mifepristone other drugs aspirin and aspirin like drugs like salicylates okay and uh, other drugs and NSAIDs like ibuprofen naproxen and silicoxib okay now the contraindications and side effects so there is a long chart of contraindications let's discuss so first uh, if operation of spine has done then the patient cannot take the drug next cancer in case of cancer or malignancy in case of polycythemia vera surgery on eye caloric undernutrition low vitamin k levels in case of anemia Okay, and then decrease period due to uh, medication of heparin patient with catheter in vascular system <coughs> significant uncontrolled high blood pressure this is bacterial bacterial infection of heart valve inflammation of the covering of the heart or pericardium fluid in the covering of the heart or pericardium balloon like uh, swelling of an artery of the brain bulge and tear of the aorta blood vessels blood vessel wall a cholesterol embolism stomach or intestinal ulcer severe liver disease blockage of a bile duct bowel movements containing much fat decreased kidney function possibility of having a miscarriage recent operation fever increased risk of bleeding due to clotting disorder a hemorrhage in the brain, bleeding of the stomach or intestines, bleeding from the genitourinary system, bleeding from the respiratory tract, bleeding risk associated with vitamin K epoxy reductase, excessive. Okay, so let's mention a point here. So these are related with the blood disorder, blood disorder also anemia okay and this also blood disorder next is excessive diarrhea abnormal liver function test major traumatic injury pregnancy gangrene tropical screw protein c deficiency disease sip 2 c 9 poor metabolizers procedure to place indwelling epidural catheter Calciphylaxis, neuraxial anesthesia, local anesthesia injected in the epidural space or subarachnoid space, deep peripheral nerve block and deep plexus block. 
so there is there are many contraindications of this drug okay, so it is always advised to take the drug after proper prescription or take advice from a registered medical practitioners or a doctor and there are lots of side effects also so let's write down the side effects so side effects there is a long chart so nausea universal side effect loss of appetite stomach or abdominal pain bleeding from gums or cuts nose bleeds heavy or prolonged menstrual flow pink or dark urine coughing of blood severe headache dizziness or fainting <coughs> bloody or black or tarry stool and chest pain so lots of side effects of these drugs also okay. now come to two basic differences okay so let me take a line page here okay so first difference is warfarin versus heparin so this two are both anticoagulant and first point is about chemistry okay so chemistry is sulfated mucopolysaccharide and this is coumarin derivative coumarin derivative okay next point is about the root so warfarin is given parenteral parenteral that is ib or subcutaneous and heparin is given orally so next point is about the mechanism so warfarin inhibit the 10a and 2a and heparin inhibits the synthesis of clotting factors next is onset warfarin immediate and heparin delayed and number is duration warfarin shorter at this four to six hours and heparin long that is three to six hours okay so this is the difference between warfarin and heparin now another short basic difference about warfarin and vitamin k okay so vitamin k helps in synthesis of clotting factors factors okay and warfarin 
एक्ट एज एंटीकेगुलेंट सो दिस दिस इज द दिस आर द बेसिक डिफरेंस ऑफ वर्फ्रीन एंड विटामिन के सो दिस इज अबाउट ऑल सॉरी दिस ऑल आर अबाउट द लेक्चर so guys if you like this video then okay so let me take the first page so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel okay